is Multi Brawler here at the uh, Tokens Tap Room up in Dover, New Hampshire, and this is just a quick tour. Uh, small little barcade um, operating on tokens with a selection of cool games. Like you've got Halloween here from Spooky Pinball. Apologies for the glare. There's some overhead lights. I've heard this game like has design issues and like the software is very buggy. I have not really played it, but it seems kind of interesting. It's got like, uh, you've got like the two main flippers on the bottom and then you have these upper areas where the flippers can go. So the ball can go up there. The upper flipper can go to this upper play field here, which looks like a kind of a field theme. And then there's like a house themed upper play field, which is pretty wild. You got targets here and uh, little Michael Myers figures jumping out the jump scare you, I guess. So we've got a line of games here. The camera needs to focus. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, four player, CRT. Classic uh, brawler from Konami. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Uh, the artwork, some of the artwork in like, uh, uh, written materials like manuals and other stuff for this game I actually found in my old Evil Knight cabinet which is kind of random trivia I've actually never played NBA Jam I've heard it's good I think there is an arcade one-up version of the cabinets Simpsons another well-known Konami beat-em-up very common to see these in arcades it's a, it's a classic for sure and of course Simpsons is a uh, beloved TV show, so this probably gets a lot of play. Uh, NFL Blitz. Looks like it's got a, LC, a LCD monitor job on it. Good football action there. Even shows like live action footage, which is pretty cool. We've got Rampage which I remember playing at the Kennywood Arcade in Pennsylvania uh, with some friends uh, up there from a pinball tournament, and that was pretty wild. No pun intended. It was pretty cool. Double Dragon. Qbert. Paperboy. I remember watching the post-mortem uh, discussion at one of the game developer conferences about this game, the scrapped ideas. And I think this game seems pretty creative. You've got like the the pet, uh, the bike handlebars for the controller. It's pretty neat. I, I really need to play this sometime. Contra with this uh, really nice live action uh, marquee graphics here. House of the Dead. So this is not original cabinet, this is a kind of conversion, I guess. So, on the original cabinets, the monitor is not as close to the guns as it is here. Um, some of the, I think the left player guns sometimes drops inputs, but it, it works pretty well otherwise. Um, control panel actually looks legit. Like, it's a full-on artwork that extends out to this front region. And monitor seems a bit kind of white-tinted since I was last year, but it's it's pretty fine. I imagine you can just uh, adjust the monitor. It's still quite good. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I've never been a big fan of. One of these mounted gun games. And uh, it's a real, it's a real quarter muncher. I think it's basically impossible to clear this one credit. Massive uh, Time Crisis three cabinets. I tweeted about this, but yeah, unfortunately the light guns here are not in the best shape. So you got the duct tape action here. I think the right side works better than the left, but a lot of these Time Crisis uh, three cabinets I've, I've seen, if you shoot the gun really fast or use the machine gun, also got my scores here, JMH 1 and 2. Uh, if you shoot the gun very fast or use the machine gun, it will uh, actually not fire the gun for some reason. Alright, let me hurry up. I'm running out of uh, space on my phone. I got Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. 
I really like this game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I suck at it, but it's it's got fun music and a lot of great characters. I remember seeing it for my local mall arcade, and I had a few of these for sale, actually. Maybe I should have gotten one. It's a classic. Neo Geo 4 slot, which has Metal Slug, Wind Jammers, Samurai Showdown, and Puzzle Bobble. So here's Metal Slug. For example, got Portal Kombat 2. With a CRT, looks like uh, the CRT like continues here, so the screen's a little bit shrunk. So maybe they could they have, probably have to adjust it. Street Fighter 2. Tetris, classic uh, puzzle game. Dealing with, I cannot, I probably need to get a new phone. I, at some point I will. I'm getting a new PC. I'm actually building it. I'll probably continue building it when I get home, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll have to get a new phone as well. Dig Dug. Got some ski ball machines here. Pretty fun. And we got pinball machines, and they actually have these um, screens on top. Uh, courtesy of, uh, I believe, some cameras. Yeah, there we go. So if you look up here, you see these cameras, and they're pointed down at the machines. And uh, that's where you can see the overhead play field view, which is cool. So we got Stranger Things, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Godzilla, Pros, uh, Theater of Magic, Adam's Family, Medieval Madness is on the far left. Unfortunately, it's out of order. Some Tetris action here. I didn't even notice the uh, the imagery along the uh, the wall here is pretty cool. And then closing it off in this room. And then finally we have Space Invaders, Baby Pit Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Super Mario Brothers Versus, which my uncle actually owns. We got the cabinet for like a buck or, or, or a hundred bucks, I should say, at the Kalamazoo auction. He still has it. It's been years, but he still has it. Pac-Man. Dr. Mario Galga. And then to conclude the tour here, we got Walking Dead Pinball Pro, Monsters Pro. Uh, this is cool. This is the Funhouse machine. Uh, but it's been upgraded with the new Funhouse Rudy's Nightmare update uh, kit thing, so it's got like new translate artwork. They added an LCD display. The old game was in like an alphanumeric display, which so this adds more. And then on the play field, so you can kind of see there's the LCD, and then on the play field itself, th that. Um, that was like a flat panel with a reflective piece, so it was the mirror with like lights on it. And they turned it into a um, LCD display, kind of like the phone from Dialed In. So that'll display information. And a new sound system as well. Which is uh, pretty neat. Uh, Iron Maiden, which I think I still have the Grand Champion on this game. There we go. Smells like bacon, indeed. Iron Maiden's pretty fun. Probably, I'd say my favorite Keith Elwin game. It's it's uh, pretty crazy, uh, super fast paced and intense. It's not perfect. I have a few issues with it, but I, I think it's still pretty addictive. It's got that one more game kind of quality to it. I still like Jurassic Park. I'm not a big fan of Avengers Infinity Quest and Godzilla actually got back from an arcade. Uh, we were just at an arcade uh, comic book store called Toys from the Attic or something, and I did play the Godzilla machine there and got the wizard mode, actually, the, the final King of the Monsters. It's a Godzilla premium, uh, pretty long game. I'm not a huge fan of Godzilla. I, th I still think Iron Maiden and particularly Jurassic Park, I think, are both pretty good, in my opinion, but a lot of people like Avengers and Godzilla, which is great. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which looks better than the, I forget where it was, we went to a, another pizza place and they had this, uh, it was called Goodman's American Pie somewhere, and they had a, a Terminator 2, it was in really bad shape, uh, this looks way better, play field's a lot cleaner, um, I guess a few lights out, but overall pretty much better. 
Demolition Man wide, wide body machine, so wider than the typical game. You've got these giant triggers, and uh, you can use that to like flip the flipper, uh, flip the flipper buttons. There are also traditional buttons on the side if you want to do that. But these actually are used a bit in gameplay in terms of like activating secrets. Um, a lot of crazy flow in this game, lots of combos. It's a pretty fun game, I, I would say. And then last but not least, um, Altered Beast. Perfect placement of the overhead light there, so you got the... There we go. Yeah, that looks totally fine. And, uh, I do remember playing this on a Sega Genesis collection. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh, Token's Tap Room. Decent little arcade. I mostly play some of the pinball machines, but, yeah, overall, uh... Pretty fun little place if you're in uh, Dover, New Hampshire. Um, decent selection of pinball machines and old and semi-modern games. Uh, kind of wish their Time Crisis 3 was in better shape, but what can you do? Um, yeah, that's uh, since there were not many people here at the arcade, I figured I'd just give a tour. I sometimes like to do arcade tours, but just don't want to film and get people get in people's way. But yeah. That's the place. Oh, fine. I'll conclude with the uh, artwork behind the uh, the bar here. Pretty, pretty awesome artwork. All right, this is Multi Brawler uh, signing off here. Hope you enjoyed.